Hey guys, uh, so I'm gonna just make this video real quick because uh, honestly I found a new free music making program and I thought it would be a good chance to help people that might want to make music for RPG Maker or maybe other games or just music in general. Um, I'm redoing this video, uh, pretty much the same thing, just have to re-record it because the first time I made this OBS didn't capture everything. Uh, so this is going to be both for people that really kind of almost have no idea how to start making music and need to know what tools to use and how to use them. I won't go too in depth, but uh, and also for people that know what they want to do but maybe don't have the right tools or need a refresher. Um, I'm not too knowledgeable about this program. I, I mean, I guess I relatively am. Uh, but I've used FL Studio quite a bit, which is basically the same thing. Um, so the program uh, I'll recommend is called LMMS. If you want my opinion, you can do quite a bit with this alone. And in honesty, there's no real reason to not at least try to get started with it. It's got pretty much everything you need. Um, as a MIDI sequencer, you can use VSTs, virtual instruments, uh, as separate channels that you can apply effects to. Uh, it's extremely similar to FL Studio. So yeah, go ahead and download it first and then we can talk more about it. Uh, also I want to say I'm going to be talking about RPG Maker MV, but I imagine the other versions of RPG Maker uh, aren't too different besides like the file type of the, the song. So yeah. So yeah, uh, here it is. Uh, it looks really good. Um, I haven't had a chance to go through all the instruments, but it seems like it has some really good choices uh, just for its default instruments. So yeah, uh, let's just show you how to get started. Um, so basically it would be, you click instrument plugins, uh, song editor, beat plus baseline editor, and piano roll. So let's just uh, get started and make like a quick song for fun just so you kind of can get into it. So drag this over here, and then you're gonna right click these squares, open piano roll. So you can just kind of go nuts here, um, just kind of make what you want here. I'm gonna change something on this real quick. Um, so you can just like click wherever you want. Um, so yeah, just, just make something real quick. Um, and then we can just test it out. Alright, so we have all the notes laid out. Uh, also, I want to say uh, you can change the volume by clicking the velocity of each note. And also the panning. Uh, if you click this, uh, you can change like, where they come from and which ear. Yeah, and if you want to play it, you click this window and just press space. Okay, <laughs> that kind of sucked, but, um, so yeah. Okay, so, uh, basically, uh, what we just made is kind of like a section of a song, or, or it can be. Um, so this is beat baseline zero, um, which is right here. So we click this. So now it's, this is the entire song, like this whole thing. You can like zoom out. Um, so yeah, if we wanted to make another section, um, so add beat, bass line, uh, open in piano roll, then. So now we have different sections. So this will play and then this will play twice. So yeah, um, that's how that works. Uh, you could just uh, make the entire song in just one of these sections. Uh, and also you can drag it so it loops. Um, so yeah. So for this video, uh, we're going to be making uh, songs with 
well I'm gonna be using sound fonts so a sound font is like a collection of instruments and the ones that I'm gonna be using are from video games um, so yeah so you just click the icon you drag this sf2 player over there which yeah so sf2 is the file format uh, you can get sf2s from the internet uh, so the ones that I'm going to be using for this video are from Earthbound and from Final Fantasy VI. Um, so yeah, I already have them, so I'm just going to quickly get this going. I'm going to find my sound font folder. Alright, so we have our sound fonts loaded. Uh, we have Earthbound and Final Fantasy VI. Um, so if you wanted to change what instrument each one is playing, you just click that wrench. Um, you can just go through and look. Um, let's see. Where's a good instrument? This one is good. Let's see. So this is just the bass. So yeah. Um, it's pretty good, um, especially the Earthbound one, it has a lot of good instruments. And also, uh, well first, one thing you could do, you can rename it so you know what it is. Another thing is if, if you don't want to have to like reload it every time, you can just clone it. So each one can have like a different uh, instrument if you wanted, stuff like that. Um, one other thing I'll mention, um, so this is where the tempo is, it's at 140 right now, um, yeah, I'd say 120 is a good tempo, 125 is like a good general tempo, 180 is, uh, kind of more quick and fast, um, and 100 is pretty slow, um, this, that's just for, like, people that are really new and, don't know what tempos to use. Um, so yeah. So I'm gonna be making kind of a song for like a village. Um, but if you wanted to, you could make like a, a fight song or a, a boss song for your game. So I'll probably be using the guitar. Um, and um, probably have BPM be about a hundred. So, uh, I'm not like an expert, but I can give like a s very small amount of like quote unquote music theory. Um, some people like to find like melodies to the song first and work around them. Uh, maybe there's more like advanced ways like jamming or playing an instrument and finding it uh, or playing with other people or something. Honestly, I'm just going to free ball it and put down some notes, adjust them until they kind of sound okay. Um, a lot of times, I, I, not for this one, but um, I like to start with the drums and then the bass and then the melody. It kind of just depends. Um, a lot of times I follow a scale, which is like major or minor, and it, you know, that kind of maps out the notes you're going to use ahead of time. Um, so yeah, let's make a song, just do your best, take this opportunity to get used to the program, there's a help, help file if you need it, and also the internet t tends to be pretty helpful with this sort of thing. Um, another thing is I'll talk about effects in just a sec after we lay out the basic instruments and notes. Um, it can be really crappy if you want, no judgment. <laughs> If you're new, it's okay to make the worst song possible, or if you're experienced, you can make whatever type of song you want. Okay. Alright, so now we have our song. Uh, I'll just play it real quick.
so yeah um that was the song um it lasts about what like 30 seconds and it loops twice all right so now let's add some effects uh to it or you know just learn how to add effects um so you click this one up here this button so this is the master channel right here all the instruments right now go to this um so yeah let's first like learn how to route a different instrument to a different channel so this is a new channel we just made by pressing this plus button um, if you want to route an instrument to this so it can kind of like have its own effects or volume and stuff like that you would click the icon let's choose the cello and fx1 so now it's routed to fx1 let's see yeah see right here the volume it's going here so yeah um, we won't add any effects or change anything for this video but if we wanted to we could um, so uh, you know there's a, like a lot of different effects like there's EQ and compression which are like some of the bigger ones but that's not what we're gonna go over in this video let's just add reverb so like add effect, reverb, we're gonna search for it. I'm not sure which of these is the best, um, but uh, let's just go with this one. Okay, so here it is. This is, uh, well here's, here it is in the thing. You can turn it off and on. Um, so let's listen to it. Hang on. Um, okay. Here's it with it off, on, so much more reverb. Uh, let's just experiment with this, so they're both right there. Okay, that like changes it a little bit. You can kind of experiment with this if you want, or you don't have to. Um, it can be kind of fun to like mess with it a little bit to see what it does. Let's just leave it at the default. That should be good all right so now we have our song um, now let's just export it um, we're gonna be exporting it to RPG maker MV and it takes OGG files so let's export it as OGG um, make sure you remember where you save it at I'm saving it on the desktop for now village song save okay so OGG export as loop uh, make sure you click that because um, at the end of the song the reverb or whatever instrument it will continue um, if you don't click it instead of just looping at the end of the beat all right so I'm just gonna export this and then we'll move on to uh, RPG maker all right so we're back in RPG maker um, you're gonna want to put the OGG file in your projects folders first so you, you go to your project file wherever you saved it and you'll go to audio and then BGM and you put the OGG file in the BGM folder um, so this is where we spawn this is our the map that we spawn on we'll right click edit auto play BGM village song okay now let's test it out All right, and everything works, cool. So yeah, that was an overview of the basic things you'll need to do to make a song in RPG Maker or just LMMS on its own. I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any constructive or helpful uh, advice you wanna say in the comments, feel free to post there. And that should be all. Uh, all right, peace.